So we want to solve the equation sine x equal 4 ninth and list all solutions in radians to four decimal places. So as we think about this, the first thing I'm going to do is take the sine inverse of both sides and that would leave me with x equals sine inverse of 4 ninths. Now I can use my calculator and get one solution because I know that the calculator is going to give me answers between negative pi halves and pi halves for inverse sine and since this is positive it's going to give me an angle in quadrant one. So let's go ahead and start there. So I've got inverse sine of four divided by nine and it looks like that's going to be to four decimal places 0 0.4606. So one of my solutions is 0 0.4606. Well I need all solutions and so I know there is another one on this one loop around the circle because there's a sine value here in quadrant two. If I took that angle right there, it would have the same sine value as the one in quadrant one. And to get that, it looks like it's this angle I got from quadrant one if I did pi and subtracted that angle because these two angles are the same size. So my second solution is going to come from taking pi and subtracting this angle. I'm going to use the value that's in the calculator that's not rounded for more accuracy. So I'm going to do pi minus using that answer from before and get 2.6810. That's to four decimal places. So x equal 2.6810. So those are two solutions, but this says I want all solutions and those are only solutions if we went one loop around the circle, but I could take this first solution and I could add 2 pi to it and get another solution, add another 2 pi and get another solution, subtract 2 pi and get a solution and so forth. So what we're going to do is put plus 2 pi k and this is where k is an integer and that would give me all solutions that landed in that first quadrant if I was thinking of loops around a circle and then I'm going to get all solutions that would come from things in quadrant 2 here by adding 2 pi k so k is an integer so it could be positive or it could be negative or it could be 0 and that would cover all solutions now I want to look at the same kind of a thing but what if we would have had a negative. So first of all x is going to be sine inverse of negative four ninths and when I ask the calculator for that since it gives me angles from negative pi halves to pi halves it's going to give me something here in quadrant four but it's going to give it to me as a negative angle and that's okay so let's go ahead second or inverse sign of negative four divided by nine and that gives me negative 0.4606. So one solution is x equal negative 0.4606. And that's because it didn't say how I had to have one of my angles that I'm after all of them. I can leave it like that. It doesn't have to be a positive angle. And then I can add 2 pi k and that will give me all solutions in quadrant 4 where the sine is negative and then I'm going to say any angles in quadrant 3 have a negative sine value as well and so if I took the size of this and I did pi and I added that angle I would have a quadrant 3 angle and then I could do plus 2 pi k to get all of those so I'm going to take pi and I'm going to subtract because it's in here as a negative and I want to add it so I'm subtracting a negative so that it will be become a positive that same angle and I get 3.6021 so another solution is 3.6021 and to get all quadrant 3 solutions I'm going to add plus 2 pi k so thing to watch for in this is if it says a certain interval like 0 to 2 pi you've just got to worry about you know one time around there but if it says all solutions you've got to consider multiple loops around or if you're thinking of this as a graph how it's periodic and repeats itself and the 2 pi k will cover those.